Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and we're looking at Modern Masters uh, Volume 6 with Art Adams, a famous comic book artist. Now, this is a series of books from Tomorrow's Publishing, and they're great books. They focus on uh, modern comic book artists uh, who are masters, and, you know, probably like the, the legends of our time, you know, like the Art Adams, the John Burns, the George Perez's and whatnot. So Art Adams uh, started very much like a influenced by Michael Golden. You can see a lot of it in his work. He's just the master of detail. He really came into his own fairly quickly. And uh, he came up on a series called Long Shot and then did some great, fantastic uh, X-Men and uh, New Mutants work with Chris Claremont. And I think that's where he pretty much uh, blew up. Everybody loved Art Adams in the 80s. And as you can see, all this art is in black and white, so you get to see like the nitty gritty of the the art and has some fantastic layouts. New Mutant Special Edition number one. Life-changing for me, love that book. Great shot of the New Mutants here. Such a great contrast uh, because uh, this, Bill Sienkiewicz's run on the New Mutants is pretty much what put them on the map and made them popular. And uh, Art Adams was doing a lot of stuff with New Mutants at the same time, and they're so their styles could not be more different. You know, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz is very, uh, you know, sketchy and black and dark, and Art is very detailed and super heroic. And just, I remember when uh, he did the Gumby special, those were great. He really nailed Gumby. I mean, he, he's one of those artists who can draw anything like super fun. And not a lot of people draw it better than he does. I say that about a lot of artists, but I guess I'm really loyal to the artists I love. He did some fun cloak and dagger stuff, as you saw, it's from the Asgardian Wars. <clears throat> this is from a great uh, Spider-Man uh, annual, Web of Spider-Man annual two, I wanna say and it features Spidey in his black costume. That's Warlock, believe it or not, from the New Mutants, and he's just uh, morphed into this giant Godzilla. Art notoriously loves to draw dinosaurs, so you'll see them a lot in his work. <clears throat> he also did an adaption of the creature from the Black Lagoon, if you're not aware of that. The art is freaking amazing. Makes you realize how kind of boring the actual creature from the Black Lagoon story is, but uh, I don't think there's a better design. I mean, if they made a new creature of the Black, Black Lagoon, which they should, what's taking so long, they should definitely uh, not deviate from the original design too much. Some great Star Wars work. You've probably seen that cover over the years if you're an Art Adams fan. He did. So he actually did a Godzilla comic book. I think uh, Dark Horse put that out. So he did a Creature of the Black Lagoon and uh, Godzilla, Gumby, this is his own creation. Um, a bunch of comic book artists jumped ship from Marvel following Images lead and started a legend imprint under at Dark Horse. Art Adams was part of it. This was his contribution, Monkey Man and O'Brien. And that's Angel and the Ape, which is DC's. I mean, you know, obviously they're pretty similar, right? But um, some more of Generation X cover. I mean, Art's just done some amazing... I used to have some Art Adams X-Men posters and just, I love his art. A lot of people, uh, I guess it's a, a joke that Art Adams is the one who um, is responsible for Image Comics because a lot of the Image Comics guys uh, just grabbed onto art style and ran with it. And um, I didn't, until someone pointed that out to me, um, like uh, looking at some of Rob Liefeld's early art, you can see a lot of art Adams in it, I feel. I mean, there are worse influences to have, right? Tom Strong, he did some stuff with Tom Strong, with Alan Moore. He took a turn in his art, and I love the way he draws women, but for some reason, all his women have like size double G. <laughs> Uh, breasts now, and I don't know what that's about. He did a, an arc of the authority. Um, who wrote that? Either, but it was good. I mean, obviously, I love uh, Art Adams' art. Great shot of Flash and Superman running there. Some great X Men work. 
cover of classic X-Men number one um, layout. Very famous. Vampirella. He's drawn a lot of people through his career. I guess he's been around for a good 30 plus years now. Um, Spectre and Deadman. He just covered Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's just, uh, he did a story in Wonder Woman Annual 2. Oh, that's that's uh, Barry Windsor Smith, inked by Art Adams, I want to say. Very cool. Art Adams Art Gallery. Here we go into some sketch. There's the man himself. And, uh, oh, Micronauts. So, uh, as I was saying, um, Art Adams was, in I think I mentioned that he was influenced by Michael Golden. And Michael Golden, of course, is famous for his work on Micronauts, <clears throat> among other things, but that's probably the biggest thing he did. This looks like a page from Long Shot, the miniseries he did with Anne Nocenti, featuring everyone's favorite blonde, mullet sporting, glowing eyed, black leather jumpsuit mutant. Boy, that was a mouthful, eh? I love this new Mutants cover. This is amazing. They're all just kind of coming out of their graves and, and just beautiful, beautiful, like texture and ink, uh, pendant work there. Just so much detail. Warlock, Art Adams draws a great Warlock. Phoenix, this was a cover layout for uh, classic X-Men, reprinting the saga of Dark Phoenix. Here we go with the X, he did a run on X-Factor. Gosh, the, this is making me want to go to the vault and read some of these old books, but um, so many great covers. DC Showcase. Um, some, I forgot what this was for, maybe Marvel Comics Presents or something. Santa Claus. Dan Brereton's uh, Nocturnals. Love Dan Brereton's art. If you're not familiar with him, he's a great uh, painter. Uh, Telos. Mike Waringo and uh, Todd DeZago's creation. Some more great Godzilla. The evolution of Godzilla, I guess. Some just character design Psylocke. That was a short-lived costume, I think. Um, Spidey. Who doesn't love Spider-Man? Quasar, Phoenix. Some really good stuff here. That, uh, one of his creations, I think. It's a fun <laughs> ape with a space helmet on and a well endowed uh, space maiden. Very satanic looking there. Love his great. Oh, what a what an amazing. I mean, look at all that insane detail. He did a lot of uh, cover. A lot of comic artists make their uh, bread and butter doing commissions. They get paid. I don't even know whatever they're growing. Going right is, I would imagine someone like Art Adams has a hefty going right, but a lot of people will just pay him to repeat, create comic covers. This is a great uh, underwater kind of scene there. <clears throat> so anyway, if you're not f familiar with Art Adams comic work, you are now. This Justice League ape, um, when they had all the annuals were like an ape story. And, it was so funny, you got to see him draw the different characters as apes, and there's Wonder Woman. Huge Wonder Woman fan here, and I think that's fantastic. Uh, that's Zill and King Kong, very cool. That would be epic to see him do a book like that, a full length. Uh, and that's the end, but these modern mastering books are great. Uh, so if you have great interviews and great um, you know, history about the artists and things like that, so. Definitely worth checking out. They've done a series of other ones. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And we'll be back with more later. All right. Take it easy, guys. Thanks.